Community activists is speaking out, disagreeing with the findings of the state attorney who ruled yesterday the fatal shooting of a suspect by a Jacksonville police officer last year was justified. Officer Tyler Landerville used deadly force after Vernell Bing Jr. crashed head-on into the officer's patrol car. Channel 4's Janice Harris has been gathering reaction to the outcome of the state's investigation, and she's joining us now. Janice? Tom, this is the memorial for Vernell Bing Jr., where he was shot after leading police on a high-speed chase. Though state attorney's office calls the shooting justified, his family and others disagree. This is an animation of the moments leading up to Officer Tyler Landreville and Vernell Bing's cars colliding. Moments later, the two men would get out of their vehicles. Landreville thought Bing reached for a gun, and he shot Bing in the left side of his head. Officer Launderville makes the call. Troy, 255 shots fired. It's going to be ninth and... Bing died the next day. No gun was found. In the state attorney's 38-page report, it says no one disputes that Officer Tyler Launderville shot and killed Bing. It also states the shooting was justified based on the circumstances. Community activist Diallo Sekou disagrees. It still seems that uh, Bing could have been taken down without shooting, without deadly force. Taku says he talked with Eric Coleman, who says he witnessed the shooting. Coleman told investigators Launderville shot Bing in the back. That was not true. The medical examiner's office ruled Bing was shot facing Officer Launderville, a report that matches the officer's account of the events. As the memorial for Vernell Bing Jr. sits here at the corner of Liberty and Ninth, the family has filed a civil lawsuit. The Bing family filed a civil rights wrongful death lawsuit last year against Officer Tyler Launderville and Sheriff Mike Williams for excessive and deadly force. The city has already filed a motion to dismiss it. Now a judge will decide the fate of the suit. The Department of Justice is doing a separate investigation, but no report has been released. Sekou says police-involved shootings have been happening around the community and the country to unarmed black men too often. He says more needs to be done to resolve crimes without death. High-speed chases ending up dead. Someone coming out of the apartment ending up dead. Someone sitting in a car with their wife ending up dead. These are all systemic. The president of the police union released this statement. It reads in part, quote, we were very confident throughout this entire process that Officer Landreville would receive this ruling. We remain thankful that the officer was not seriously harmed while attempting to bring a violent suspect into custody. I also requested an update from the Department of Justice. It is aware of the request but has not responded yet.